Appalachian Wireless is Appalachian Advantage. Unlimited text, talk, and two gigs of data for as low as $45 a month. Or if you like, get five lines on eight gigs of data for just $145 a month. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. The city of Pikeville officially welcomes Silverliner truck manufacturers as the very first tenant of the Kentucky Enterprise Industrial Park. The city broke ground on a speculative building back in the summer, and even before the first bit of dirt has been turned on the construction of the building, Silverliner has committed to populating it. The company will manufacture tanker trucks for a variety of uses. Silverliner CEO Chris Tomlinson, a Floyd County native, said he's excited to bring his business back home. I am committed to not only making Silverliner a success, but also committed to assisting in the future growth and development of Pipeful in Eastern Kentucky. With a percentage of the profits from Silver Liner to be paid back to the city of Pikeville for economic growth, I would like to challenge any and all companies that come here, please do the same. The faith that the city and our local government and our Congressman Rogers has put into me is absolutely overwhelming. And I couldn't imagine being anywhere else in the world other than right here in my home in eastern Kentucky. Silverliner is expected to bring approximately 50 jobs initially and up to 300 jobs within five years. Congressman Hal Rogers praised the efforts to bring a tenant like Silverliner to the industrial park. You're fun to work with because you, you, you see a project and you go after it and you zero in on it as a team, a community-wide, area-wide, federal, state, local team, and you make it happen. And that's what I like to see and that's the kind of people I like to work with. Rogers previously helped secure abandoned mine lands funds for economic development projects, projects like the Kentucky Enterprise Industrial Park. He said he hopes Pikeville will become a model for what those funds can do. So I want to see more like this. We've got another 30 million coming to Kentucky next year of those types of grants uh, whose money will be used to do things like this throughout eastern Kentucky. Also at the ceremony, Kentucky Power presented the city with a ceremonial check for an economic development grant that will be used for geotechnical work at the industrial park. Pikeville City Manager Philip Ellswick said the grant funds will be used to aid in construction at the park and could make it easier to recruit businesses to the site. If you build a building just on the ground as it is, you could have differential settlement or things of that nature. So this testing is important to tell you what you need to do to your foundation to protect your building. Ellswick said the city has several prospective candidates for who could be the next tenant at the Kentucky Enterprise Industrial Park. In Pikeville, Chris Anderson, EKB News.